Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Data Control Language, or DCL, is used within SQL to grant or deny privileges, which are permissions to perform specific tasks within the database, to users. This lets the database administrator or owner choose which users can perform which actions upon selected database objects. Note that not every RDBMS will fully implement DCL within their SQL. Some database systems, like SQLite, do not implement any DCL statements, as it is a single-user desktop database system. Other database programs, like Microsoft Access 2013, use a separate security mechanism to determine user access in privileges not tied to SQL. You must check your RDBMS documentation to find out the level of DCL implementation that exists within its SQL, if at all. DCL statements are used by the database administrator or owner to create users and roles within the database and to grant or revoke privileges to and from these users and roles. In some more complex relational database management systems, a role may be created in addition to creating users. Each role is then assigned its own set of access privileges. Then individual users can be assigned to the roles that have been created to acquire their necessary database privileges. Doing this can simplify database privilege assignment for large databases that contain many users. Some relational database management systems also come with predefined roles to which you can assign users. The first statement to examine is the create user statement which is used to create a user within the database. This statement is technically classified as a data definition language statement as it creates a database object. It is only added to this chapter because of its use in conjunction with the DCL statements. The core SQL of the create user statement is shown below. Note that the username parameter is the name of the user that is to be created. So the essence of the SQL statement is create user and then the username parameter. The create role statement is used to create a role within the database. It is also classified as data definition language or DDL as it creates a database object. It too is only added to this chapter because of its use in conjunction with the actual DCL statements. The core SQL of the create role statement is shown below. Note that the role name parameter is the name of the role that is to be created. In this case, the SQL is create role and then the role name. The creation of users and roles within each RDBMS will vary and you should ensure that you check the documentation available. The create user statement as implemented in MySQL 5.7 at SQL Server 2012 is shown in the first two hyperlinks below. Note the create user command in Microsoft Access 2013 is only used with the ANSI 92 compliant databases. Normally in Access 2013 databases, security is handled by an entirely different process. Let's take a look at using it in Access 2013 and an ANSI 92 compliant database. In that case, the syntax is create user, then the username, then the password for the username, followed by a unique identification number for that particular user. To execute the statement, just click the Run button, and the user's been created. Now you'll also find the Create Role Syntax statement within SQL Server 2012 shown at the bottom of the listing of hyperlinks below. Note that there is no Create Role or Equivalent statement within MySQL 5.7. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.